He was one of the most popular sports figures in St. Louis history. And tonight, sports fans are in mourning. Former Cardinals manager Whitey Herzog has passed away after a short illness. Herzog is in the Cardinals Hall of Fame and the Major League Baseball Hall of Fame. In the 1980s, he guided the Cardinals to three pennants and a World Series championship. We have team coverage tonight of his life and his legacy. We begin with sports director Frank Cusimano. Mike, I don't know if anybody has his baseball resume. He scouted and developed the Miracle Mets to the 1969 World Championship. As an executive, he put together three pennant winners with the Cardinals in the 1980s. And oh, by the way, he happened to be arguably the best manager of his generation. Ironically, one of his favorite players on his Cardinal teams based on speed was the slugging first baseman, Jack Clark. Whitey traded for him and convinced him to switch to first base. Whitey and Jack would meet at 4.30 in the mornings and go fishing. Whitey's wife, Mary Lou, would have the fish prepared and ready to be cooked after the game at 10 p.m. Jack loved being a Cardinal under Whitey Herzog. I had the closest seat in the house to watching Pendleton and Ozzy and um, Tommy Herr and McGee and, and just winning out in the field, you know, Vince Coleman with Danny Cox and Tudor and Andrew and just Bobby Forsh and all those guys. May some of those guys rest in peace that aren't with us anymore, Daryl Porter and, 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 and now the rat, you know. So mm. we always call them the rat. We didn't call them the white rat. We didn't call them white. We just said rat, you know, just flat out. <laughs> Jack said, not only did we know we had the best manager in our dugout, the other team did also. Whitey was that good. We interviewed many of Whitey's former players today, and you can see those interviews on our KSDK YouTube channel. And Frank, a lot of people don't know what a kind soul and how generous Whitey was. Talk about his relationship with Don Denkinger, Denkinger the umpire who cost the Cardinals the World Series in 1985, and Whitey didn't like the way Don Denkinger was treated through the years. No, he didn't. In fact, Mike, I can still remember getting a call from Whitey when he would have his golf tournament, and he'd always honor like a Vince Coleman, you know, or a John Tudor at these golf tournaments. He said, we are honoring you, interview, honoring Don Denkinger. I said, what? And so they gave Denkinger a gold watch and a standing ovation, but the gold watch was actually a Braille watch. So there was like a little <laughs> dig no, at no. Denkinger. And St. Louis loved him that night, and Don Denkinger could not have been more excited to be there and to be with Whitey. And speaking of relationships, another famous and beloved manager, Tony La Russa, and his relationship with Whitey. Talk about that. Well, I think it was kind of complicated. There's a great deal of mutual respect, but when we're in these St. Louis Cardinal Hall of Fame voters meetings, it would basically be Whitey promoting his players to get in and Tony promoting his players to get in. And we would just sit back and just enjoy the banter as those two would go back and forth. Whitey liked Tony, but he would always say this, boy, you know, Tony had a really big payroll. Boy, Tony really had some good <laughs> players. Just a little bit of a dig. And look, I ask players all the time, one player to win one game to save the world from communism, who do you take? And Whitey wins it 100% of the time. And Tony was a great manager, too. Yes, he was. Yeah. All right, Frank, thanks.